Yes, ladies and gents, today we are setting up the TBS Crossfire Micro and the TBS Crossfire Nano RX. So, Amirul needed his <laughs> Micro RX, say Micro TX to be assembled to his QX7S. So, stay Stay tuned. Looking into the box, you will get the micro transmitter, the Immortal T converter for your QX7. We'll fix this into this and we'll show how it's done. From the top, I don't think you can see from the camera, it's ground. Um, the second port is 3.3 volt. The third port is in. The fourth port is out. So there you have it, I've soldered them. Um, the color code that I'm using is black for, trip, uh, for ground. Red for 3.3 volt, yellow for um, in, and green is for out. There. So first off, we are going to need to open these four screws. One, two, three, and four. You need to open, remove the bottom part of the transmitter you want to remove these screws so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick double-sided tape here and place it here so that we can just measure Stick it on the STM32 chip now. So just remember that yellow is in, green is out. Okay, so I'm going to solder this black here. Now I need a cutter. That's my cutter. And then this one's right here. I'm gonna put some solder on the ground spot. Also on the 3.3 volt spot. Solder pad. There you go. There you go. And then... Yep, that's done. Okay, now we're going to fix this too. So the in wire is going to be on the first pin here. So what I'm going to do is to solder some tint here. I'm going to cut some wire. Yep. Now that's done. So we are left the green wire to be fitted somewhere here. 
So what I'm going to do now is to first remove these. So this is a very tricky it's not easy, it's not hard, it's just tricky because it's small. So I'm just destroy this. It's when I remove this Q400 off the board. Yep, it's removed. So the out wire is going to be soldered right here. The same Q400 spot, but on a single pin, not on the two pins that we've desoldered yet. I'm going to cut off this wire right here. Okay. going to put everything back in place oh yep yeah. and don't forget to not destroy this work this is antenna So now that we've put everything back in place, we are going to put this module in. Now, the moment of truth. So long press uh, the menu button, second page, activate crossfire, long press on crossfire LUA, execute, then you have the micro TX. Now this is the crossfire nano. So from top is ground, second port is uh, 5 volt, third is the TX and fourth is the RX. Some tint and put some wires here for your reference this is the antenna port from top is ground then comes 5 volt then tx and rx for the white wires black is ground red is 5 volt yellow is tx white is rx so keep in mind when you are um, soldering the TX RX from Crossfire is going to be uh, crossing. So the TX will go to RX and the RX will go to TX. But first, I'm going to give something to all of these. This is the ground. And then positive. This thing runs 5 volt guys, so just make sure. Yellow is TX, then TX needs to go to RX. So, let's just hold it here. And white is RX, so it should go to TX. This is UR3. There you go. 
um, for your information this is uh, the Crossfire SE Nano Crossfire Nano XE so you'll get the Immortal T plug this in right okay so we'll be using the TBS um, 1500 mAh 4S battery to light this up um, so fingers crossed nothing will get Okay, so you can see that the light is blinking on the Crossfire Nano. It's blinking green, just in case if you don't see. I'm going to turn on the remote. And then... Long press the menu button. Press page once. And then press uh, enter and then select crossfire lower, long press, execute, press on X, uh, micro TX, press on bind. It will say binding, update receiver. So the light turns blue, uh, asking for it to be. Um, updated. So I'll press enter. Okay, it's going up slowly. You can see uh, now it's at 9%, 10%, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> we'll wait till this is done. Yep, it's done updating. So it's bounded. It's bound and it's green. So let's just give it a test. I'm going to turn the remote off. Receiver still connected. And then you see the receiver turns red. And then I'll turn on the remote. Yep. It's bound, it's green now. So, another happy customer behind the greens. <laughs> there you have it, crossfire setup. See you on the next video. Ciao.